Hello there, my name is Vishal from my web and uh, in this video, I am just uh, opening a coordinator project. So we need to start my, just a minute, uh, I just open a new browser, I open my uh, Chrome browser and I open coordinator and download the coordinator framework as well as and uh, click on the download button and let's save it into the download uh, no into, into my project folder so in the jam and uh, into one okay i think that's over and purely now printing this so into a folder close it and I open my file explorer that is it one new PLA yeah that is it now I extract that I cut them all up cut the all of them and paste into the root folder here is our root folder so I paste it here and I remove these things okay and now start my start my Apache and MySQL okay and just open the localhost slash 21 slash new hyphen npla okay cool so now let's check it out and yeah arrange me all the controller and things so first of all we need to we need to set up the some some things into our config file so in the config in the application folder we have config and the config folder we have config.php file now we need to set, set the base url so here is is our base url so here is line number 26 i paste it here and i remove the index.php and after that I'm going back to my coordinator official website and go to the click on the documentation file, sorry, documentation link, and click on the online user guide. And here is our stx, sorry, search the stxs file for get the code of stxs. So, so just go to the coordinator URLs and copy all the things copy and come back to the, your code editor and at the root folder just create a new file and the file name will be dot ht access and paste it over here okay now just check it how it work so I create a new controller controller name will be user.php okay and I open my php tag and a class class name will be same as my file name class user extends ci underscore controller and make a public function so the function name will be dashboard okay and just open and just take code that dashboard okay now just uh, go to the uh, I'm going to my page and type the class name which is user slash dashboard okay so all is working fine 
Now it's time to make a database where you put uh, some admin data and make a login page. So for the UI, I download the uh, download this uh, file sky dash free bootstrap admin template. I put the link uh, in the description. So here is our files, here is our templates, here is our CSS and all the things. That code is also available on the GitLab, so you can go to the go ahead there and download all things from the GitLab. Okay. I open another file explorer of my project folder. Three and yeah. Eventually, and in the root folder, I create a new folder. And the folder name is assets and this is folder I put all the uh, assets file like CSS fonts images JS and let me check uh, and the windows file too and copy it right here Let's check what is the what's in the form. Yeah, mm, we don't need that. Okay, so in this folder we have all the things like SQL, Switch Type, Get Picker, Max Land, Charges. So maybe it's needed in the future. Okay, so now I'm going to the template and in the pages we have UI features, samples, yeah, here is your login.html file, okay. So first, first of all, we need to make a, a database into our PHP admin and make a controller of our login page and view. So I'm just open the, my localhost slash php my admin and here is our npl folder. So now uh, I'm make a new folder which name is new underscore npl and uh, make a new folder make a new data table. I mean new data table which name is admin and the column name maybe one two three four yeah that's enough and the type admin underscore id admin underscore email admin underscore password and finally is created it Dated underscore add okay and also another one is admin status okay the type is same as integer and I make it as out increment and primary key and this is variable character the value length is 255 okay it's uh, admin underscore password that will be same as 100 and this is will be timestamps and administrators is the type of this administrators is enum so let's find out find out yeah enum and the single to come of one and another value is zero yeah that's a fine and I uh, put uh, some value in this field. So, and I uh, just shall at direct gmail.com and the password will be only 12345. And also, the type is md5. Yeah. And 
अंडर एडमिनिस्ट्रेस इज हुआ मैं क्लिक ऑन दो गो एंड हेरेज हेरेज आवर और डमी डेटा ना क्लिक ऑन गोट नोट योर कोड प्रोजेक्ट ना आई मेक अ कंट्रोलर व्हिच इज एडमिन न्यू फाइल आई मेक अ कंट्रोलर नेम द कंट्रोलर नेम विल बी एडमिन डॉट पीएचपी सॉरी एडमिन अंडरस्कोर कंट्रोलर डॉट पीएचपी तो ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर योर ऑफ फर्स्ट फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ द कंट्रोलर नेम इज ऑलवेज इज कैप अपर केस Class class name uh, always same as your admin control file name. So admin control extends CI controller. And public function function name. Sorry, that's my bad. Only function the function name is dashboard. Okay. Okay. Close the user dot PHP file and echo it. Let's echo the admin dashboard page. Okay. Now, when I type the, type the admin into the URL. So sorry, uh, admin, and after that we have dashboard. Sorry, uh, what's the name? Okay, the controller name is admin controller. So I forget that. Yeah, admin dashboard. But we need a login page before visiting on the admin dashboard page. So what we need? So we need to redirect them. So first of all, we need to uh, make a, a login controller. So again, I create, a, I make a new file into our controller. Controller name will be login controller. Login controller dot php, and I copy all the things from here to here and change the file name. And the file name is on this login controller okay and here is your admin underscore login and now we need a page so for the page we need to go to their reviews folder into into your application folder and Make a new folder for admin. So just so this just type the admin. Make an admin folder and make a new login page. New file and admin underscore login underscore view dot php. You can set any file name as you want. Okay. And just uh, make a heading. So I type a simple heading. Admin login, and let's check into our controller. So we need to put the the view, call the view function. So dollar this load view, and where we have in the view folder we have admin, and then the, into the admin folder we have admin underscore login underscore view. So we have admin slash admin underscore login underscore view we don't need to put the dot php extension in the view folder so again here is our login controller here is our login controller and here is we have admin underscore login 
okay so here is your admin login page so uh, into our login admin school login dot view page we need to put some text so if some uh, code of uh, uh, sky dot php file so i open it into my brackets open with uh, code yeah mm. and i copy all the things from here control c and don't worry i put all the things into into the description and save and check as you can see here is no style no files and no styling so what we need we need to set up the, all the links from here so eraser i just uh, control press the control c and i press the control h for replace and okay we don't need that i just remove this remove this php echo and we have base underscore url and dot assets slash we have assets and in the assets folder we have vendors so here is okay with that okay so i just copied uh, from here Forget to close, close it, and also close it from here. So let's check out. Okay, uh, also from here. Comma slash and close the things, and also. Yeah, of course. I also for Fabicon too. Called undefined function base URL. So why you get this error? Because of oh, we need a helper which called is helper and of helper URL. If you type the URL, coordinate a URL. Uh, that's my bad yeah here is you are a helper and we need to load the dollar this load helper but but we need to auto load for uh, in the whole project so I just copy it URL and just go to the config page and go to the sorry in the comment config folder we have auto load.php and just find the helper auto load libraries drivers help us yeah we have array and we need to put the url in between the single quotes okay now press the control s and check in the browser again okay we got all things like style and uh, another things okay here is our logo so where is our logo and where is the link of that thing so yeah here is it so php echo you can also simply just uh, write uh, less than a question mark and equal to and just put a base url and fill all of them into the base url parameter sorry assets to because all the images and the logo images are uh, saved into the assets folder yeah here is the sky dash logo and we need to remove this uh, facebook button yeah we don't need that
ओके वॉट है पैंड इफ यू गो डायरेक्टली इन टू द एडमिन कंट्रोलर ओके लेट्स चेक अगेन सो हेर इज और एडमिन कंट्रोलर सो एडमिन कंट्रोलर एंड हेर इज और डैशबोर्ड we don't need to go to the directly into the dash admin dashboard page so i just write another function another uh, method which is construction so public function underscore construct construct sorry my bad yeah construct and I write the uh, call the parent construct as like this and if when we not get any session ternary operator and dollar this session user data is admin if you're not getting the any session uh, which is related to age admin it, it will be redirect it will be returned to the redirect to the login controller Class admin login and that will be okay. So let's check if it's not working out. Just refresh it. So we need to also start the session. So how can we start the session? Just go back to your definition and just type session and hit enter. and here is your session library so it's mean it's related to your it's related to, related to our session library uh, library okay as you can see here is dollar this load library session so just go to your again config folder and find auto load file and find a line of libraries and type in type the right the session in between your single quotes again to less and check the browser again refresh okay again i just type the admin underscore controller and type for his dashboard it's again move on to the your login page because if you if you are not login into your web page or uh, into your login page you can't access the admin panel as well as now how can we access the admin and panel after the login so we need to make a login controller so here is your view page and where is your form tag here is your form and just tag action equal to echo the base url and make a another function into your into our login controller so just public function admin underscore login underscore fun action and just Add the controller name. Copy the controller name and paste it here, and also paste the method name. So it is our method name. Copy it and paste it at here, and the method will be post. Obviously, the method is always is post. 
sorry we don't need a ink type input type name lg yeah uh, okay and also put the name admin score username and uh, the also in the password name sorry name equal to admin underscore password mm. and also we don't need a anchor tag we need a button and the button type will be so I just type signing in and take a class so I copy this class name and paste it here and also put the type equal to submit sorry in lower case submit and I remove the anchor type So let's see again control s to save and check in your browser okay now if i click on the sign in so let's see what's ha what's happened into the into your url as you see we have a login controller and we have also a login i mean login underscore action method so just go back to your login controller page and just I I debug all things printer so I write the printer score R and write the underscore post. Check now again. We have a Bisal web .com and the password is pass123, which is which I've already put it into your into our input fields. If I shall ten five nine six seven eight nine ten and change the password as one twenty four five six. As you can see. Here is, our, here is our output okay now we need to validate all the things at here so how can you validate this so just go to your uh, enter documentation and type form validation so here is our form helper and here is our form validation so i click on the form helper and just check all the things so first of all we need to put a form helper and also form validation into our library so just go back to them to our auto load file again in auto load we have helper and what's the name of the helper name is the helper name is form okay so after the url i write the comma and put another single uh, single comma and write the form and what is the library the form edition yeah just go to your library and comma single comma and yeah that's a that's working fine and what happened after after that okay so here is the rule up to write a uh, file name so I just copy this thing and I close the auto load file and I paste it here So, in the first parameter, we have a username which is our name of the input field. So, what is the name of our input field? And uh, here is our input field name is admin underscore username. So, I copy it and I paste it here. And I write a message. I write the message. The message name is okay. Username is okay. And here is your admin underscore password. okay 
and it's both are the required and after that if if that will succeed so if another this formal addition is run successfully equal to true then our logging code will be executed else sorry my bats else get the error message okay if you are not right uh, i mean both fields are required what happen if we leave them a blank there is nothing to show so again if you get uh, any error that we need to go go back to the view page so again again we go back to the admin underscore login dot view dot file name okay again refresh it so we are not getting any error so how can you find and write uh, error at there so so let's find out so we need to find the change showing the chair uh, error message uh, yeah setting error no that's not the correct thing yeah here is just showing errors individually so i just copy it and go go back i'm going back to my view page and after the input field and just paste that and copy the name and also copy this again paste that and paste the name of the admin password too okay let's see refresh as you can see the username field is required uh, if i leave th leave this you see the password field is already uh, failed but the em not empty but our this is our uh, previous definitor so and also it may be it's required to be a e email format so how can you get the validation methods so as you can see there is a rule reference of our in you know, validation error so here is a required matches reference I need a valid email yeah here is our valid email so I can put them so just going back to my login controller and here is our validation so and uh, in the admin in underscore user name we just type the uh, valid email okay and if I type something strings or anything I just click at this click on when I click on the sign in you can see here the place include and add direct message if i remove this the required okay so here is the input type email if i just simply type a text and I just type anything around a random string and 
click on the sign in the as you can see the username field must contain a valid email address okay so i think it's working fine now again i can press the control z for foot for the type input type is email and also we need to write set the delimiters so how can you find them so i just uh, press the control f and find set delimiters yeah here is your error delimiter so i just copy all the whole line and going back to my controller and after the validation setting the rules of validations i just set the set error set error delimiters and change the class name class name will be text danger also it will be span not def because i like to put the span type refresh as you can see the username field must contain a valid email and I remove this again I remove it put the empty field and click on sign username the username field is required the password field is required if you want to type the small so you can also type the small okay all will be working fine now if uh, if you are not getting any error what happened so here is your admin database so we just need to load a model so again I'm going back to my models folder and make a new model file And um, capital L, I look at login underscore model dot php. Okay, and I just open the PHP tag. class class name is login underscore model and extend with your model c underscore model and make it a public function public function name is admin underscore login and write a query dollar query I take a variable name, variable name I just get the dollar this db where and I take a array and admin underscore email we need to validate with admin underscore email equal to sorry is like dollar email so we need uh, need to take two parameters which is the first param parameter is dollar email and the second parameter is dollar password comma because that all a uh, is stored into a array format so admin underscore password here the second one is admin underscore password ok 
get and the uh, table name is admin now i return this query now we need to load this model so i just copy the model name and going going back to my login and controller if our code is succeed and found relation is uh, relation is run successfully now that this load model and the model name is this log underscore model Double this as my object or the object name is login underscore model and what is the method name is the method name is admin login now we need to pass the two parameters which is, which is our email and the password so i just take a variable name which is email and take the input field name so input this so this input and that are the post method and what is the name of this admin underscore username so i copy it from here and copy this the same thing and change the variable name of second variable is password and here is our password so after that i just put this variable into our admin admin underscore login method so the email and the second one is password and again i just queue so let's check what happened if we get this so, uh, queue so printer score r and dollar q now going back to my browser I refresh this vishal at gmail.com vishal at direct gmail.com one two three four five So as you can see, you can see the proper undefined property login controller db. Because of that, uh, we need to connect your f f uh, project it with your database. So how can you connect your database with your? Uh, how can you connect your project folder project in with your database? So I'm going back to my config and going back to the go to the database.php file. Just here is our username. So username is always as root because it's my local host and the password is blank. And the database name is database name is new underscore npla. So new underscore npla. So I press the control S for save this. And again going back to the auto load and find the libraries. So here is our session library and we also load the database library. So I just type a database database and refresh okay uh that's my mistake database okay yeah we got this uh got, got the data from uh controller if I echo pre and if it's okay so we are not getting anything okay Q array result
ओके ऑल्सो वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट दिस पासवर्ड इन टू एम एम डी फाइव पैरामीटर sign in you are not getting anything so again i just pass the right uh, uh, data so uh, 12345 okay as you can see we are getting this thing like uh, our data what happens if you are not getting the right thing from the database if dollar q okay first of all i just uh, echo something q echo dollar q array arrow num underscore rows okay let's find out we got the one now again i just put the some wrong data and click on the sign in we get the zero okay so again i set the validation so if if you get uh, if you get uh, num rows equal to zero or one okay if i get the wrong data from the database it will redirect to our this page our admin controller okay so again i just set the flash data so dollar this session set flash data and uh, error message and i put the message the message will be check your password check your username or password and try again yeah, that's working fine and dollar message uh and just return and it direct to or admins will login controller so login yeah so if you are not getting the right data it will be uh, again redirect to our login page and i'm going go going back to my view page and yeah i just echo this php echo dollar this session flash data and the flash data parameter name is error underscore message now i put the same colon and click this and refresh and click uh, again click on the sign in button now as you can see we got the check your username or password and try again what we don't need at here uh, or either we can just set the class name class name will, will be alert and alert danger okay if you are not getting any error if you are not getting any error so i just we don't need to show them at here so i just copy it if this session flash data equal to blank that will be show us either way 
it's not showing and if okay you can also write like this yeah Sorry, I, that's my bad. Uh, not equal to null, and that will be shows. If I click again in the sign in button, check username or password and try again. And if I go to shall and the password, you just type one two three four five and click on the sign in. It's again going back to the null. Login controller where you get the successfully get the real data. Okay, so again, if dollar q and num rows equal to one we need to set the session set underscore user data and what is the user data the user data will be okay age admin yeah Age admin and the admin, admin ID we need to set some value like one and also we need to store the some uh, admin ID data and email too. So I just write the other queue. result underscore array put them into our data and I just commented this and just print it print underscore r dollar data Okay, so here is the admin ID. So what we need? I just comment that and I comment this line again. So dollar data admin underscore ID. Yeah, that's working fine. And redirect to redirect to our admin controller and also to dashboard let's check it out Okay, we not uh, move, move on to the page. So again, let's check again and die. We shall and one two three four five. Okay, uh, we got the index the array. So we need to put the row and again control to save and we shall one two three four five and click on the sign in button yeah we get into the admin dashboard page so that's it guys uh, after this video we are no, uh, I think we need to also make a logout function 
so I just going back to my view page so I think uh, we are our admin login page is is working fine so again mm, also we need a dashboard page so I just create a new file admin underscore dashboard dot php and in the admin controller i just load this load that view page so double this load view in the admin folder we have admin underscore dashboard view and I just got close the alignment controller now the admin controller just admin dashboard and also create an anchor tag which name is base url we have an admin controller admin underscore controller slash logout logout okay press so here's our admin dashboard and here's our logout function what's it's not uh, going back to the our admin i mean login page so again we need to go back to the admin controller and make a function which name is logout so at the bottom i write a comment logout sorry mm, admin logout method public function the public function logout and, and again uh, I just unset the uh, admin session so double this session unset user data at user admin is admin and return redirect to login controller and in the login controller we have admin login view so yeah test that admin login refresh and now again I click on the logout page well so actually work if you're not getting any if, if you put the wrong data let's say it's all the messages check your username or password and try again and if, if you're put the right uh, if i not put the password field I click on sign in it show me a error message the password field is required and now I have put the right things like vishal.gmail.com into the info, info, email field and in the password field I write type 12345 and click on the sign in button which again we, we, it's a redirect to our admin dashboard page and click on the logout it's a redirect to our login page actualize so in this video that's it for this video now in the next video we are working on the poor a news form like a post form where you uh, write uh, some post heading and post data and I uh, upload a image and upload uh, upload the post image and display on the on our user page so that's it guys let's meet you soon in the second part of this series thank you so much for watching this video and stay with me happy coding